Hey everybody, this is Gunny J. I thought, I haven't done like a Facebook Live in a while. So I wanted to um, go ahead and start doing an, an episode, right? I want it episodic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the 14 Marine Corps leadership traits one by one. But before I do that, we have to handle the question of ethics. And then once you handle the question of ethics, then the 14 traits fall into place. So today, we're just going to concentrate on, uh, it's not going to be exhaustive. It's going to be short. But we're just going to take a look at ethics and kind of get that in your mind um, when we look at leadership or business or something else. You know, my mentor, John Maxwell, he was talking one time and he was telling a story about when he um, went to, or he got a, he got like an email or something, a request to speak, right? Because he's a speaker. He got a request to speak and the guy goes, I, I'd like you to come and teach business ethics, you know, to my group. And uh, John goes, well, I, I don't do that. And the guy goes, well, you know, you're you're a minister, you're, you're a leadership guru. What do you mean you don't teach business ethics? And he goes, well, he goes, I teach ethics. And either you have them or you don't in business, in leadership, whatever. It doesn't matter in life. So we're going to look at a couple of hard questions. There's not going to be any hard, fast answers in this because uh, human beings are so varied. So when we look at the question of ethics, we have to look at what is right, because ethics is, is uh, defined as ethical leadership is leading by knowing and doing what is right, right? See, the problem with that is that it can be difficult to define what is right. What is right in your book? See, we're so, I mean, even the country is divided between what's right and what isn't right. There's some huge debates going on now. I'm not getting in those. Don't post those. I'm not a political person. I just don't. Uh, I keep my politics to myself. But we do have to look at things that are either right or wrong in accordance with our value system. Right? So... On ethical leadership, it's really divided into two parts. One is a leader must lead ethically in their character and their interactions, right? What is right? Now, for like the Marine Corps, I'm using that as an example, as an analogy. You know, we have a code of conduct, how we're supposed to conduct ourselves. We have policies. We also have unwritten codes in the Marine Corps. Codes that I think it's the Marine Corps order now, but... Um, way back when, when I went as gray and maybe not as heavy, but um, an easy one would be we didn't put our hands in our pockets. You see, Marines just don't do that. We don't put our hands in our, we don't put anything in our pockets. You know, as a 17 year old, I got into the Marine Corps and, and you know, you get thrashed if you put your hands in your pockets I just didn't get it. I didn't, why don't we put our hands in our, because it's all about military presence. It's just not what Marines want the Marine Corps to be portrayed, you know, when we're in, uh, in garrison. Now out in the field, you know, we'd fill our pockets and our, our uh, cargo pockets. We, you know, we use pockets for what pockets were used for. Still really didn't, wore gloves, really didn't put our hands in our pockets, but, that was an unwritten ethical code. Marines don't chew gum while in uniform and walking. You know, we, they just don't do that. You know, and if you do do that, then there's going to be some salty NCO come along and he's going to tell you, don't do that. <laughs> right. So I'm looking at business. I wanted to bring some business examples. And let me pull one up right now. This is what I'm running into on my Instagram accounts, right? I know Instagram, what is that? So here's an Instagram comment. This isn't a message. It'd be appropriate if it was a message, but this is a comment. It says, 
Hi there. I'm, you know, I blacked out their names because I just don't think it's right to put their names up there, right? It says, hi there. It's great to see you here on Instagram. I go, okay, that's a friendly person. Take a look at my profile, and if you like what I share, shoot me a follow. Well, this person didn't follow me, number one. And number two, it's really borderline, but she's kind of promoting herself on the site. Now, if that was a private message, it would have been perfect. So in my ethics and my value system, when I see this, of course, I delete the comment. Um, and it's probably a bot or something that's putting those comments out there. But that kind of upsets me, you know, not enough. I, I don't want to get into this isn't like road rage or Instagram rage or something else like that. I just delete it and move on with my life. But that's pretty, that's just not right. I, I don't tap in. It's not right to tap in. In my ethics, my viewpoint, what I think is right, it's not right to tap into another person's audience for my own gain. Now, if I make a comment, a pithy comment or an intelligent comment or something else like that, and somebody wants to check me out and they come over and they start following me on Instagram, that's cool, there's nothing wrong with that. Some, some others are even more blatant. Um, three of them out of four comments. Uh, in network marketing, automation beats talent. Well, that's debatable, but in hard work, that's definitely debatable. You know what? I don't care what business you're in. If you don't work hard, there's no such thing as magic. Automation helps you do repetitive tasks so you save time. That's all it does. Um, anyway, so I disagree with that comment already. He goes, are you interested? Contact me. And of course, you know, he had, he had his stuff there. Well, that, that's an ad. This dude's using my post and my tribe that I've built up on Instagram to self-promote. To me, ethically, that's wrong. Instagram, legally, it may be okay. Ethically, it's flat out wrong. Uh, the next one, uh, check out this page. I think you should follow it. It can help with your creative flow. Of course, that page was his page. That, to me, that's ethically wrong. Uh, this one down here, nice, you know, relating to my post. Hey, I'm looking for 10 businessmen and women to lock arms with. Would you like to collaborate? This is where network marketers get a bad reputation from is, is stuff like this. You know, like I said, if these were messages between these people and myself, probably okay, ethically okay. I understand it. That's what, you know, I do that. Um, but to spam your ads, it was funny because I think it was maybe, no, it wasn't the post. I was going to say, I think it was a post where I said, if you don't know the difference between ads, promotion, and marketing, you know, message me. <laughs> and here they are putting ads out. This doesn't work, by the way. If, if you're a network marketer or direct sales, home-based business, you might get one or two, but I guarantee you those people that you get, you probably don't want. So anyway... That's what I mean by ethics. You know, what are the value system that you guide your life by? Um, hey, Joe. <laughs> Let me see if I can. Oh, yeah, I can put it up there. Hoorah. Another Marine, first Marine division. Um, what are the ethics that you guide your life by? The second part of that is a leader must act and make decisions ethically, right? Those people who commented on my post, those were not ethical decisions that they made. Uh, they were probably made out of greed or ease or somebody's bought or they bought into a program that does it for them automatically. I don't know. Um, but it wasn't an ethical, in my viewpoint, it wasn't an ethical decision. And most people who do this for a living, this online business stuff for a living, um, <laughs> they, they, uh, they would agree with me. You just don't, you know, there are some groups on Facebook, I understand there are spam groups, but, um, so what do we use to make sure that we're making ethical decisions? Well, in the Marine Corps, we have, uh, it's not really, I guess it'd be an acronym, Joe. I don't know. 
maybe Joe can help me with it, but it's called JJ did tie buckle, right? It's the 14 leadership traits, and then we have 11 principles. So what I'm going to do over the next span of a few weeks is go over each trait individually. You know, first we start with ethics. That's why we have traits. And then we're going to look at those traits and see what traits that uh, maybe that you have or maybe some traits you might need to bone up on or something else like that. So tomorrow in episode two will be the first J, which is justice. And JJ did tie buckle. We're going to look at justice. And all these things are measurement sticks. They're guidelines that we make as leaders or as business people or as, you know, oxygen breathing human beings. These are the things that we think about as we make our decisions in daily life. So that's all I got for you today. Make sure you do some self-reflection. Think, you know, what, what are my value systems? You know, it might be uh constitutional law it might be the bible it might be the quran it might be um whatever the the buddhists have as as far as the book i, I don't know it's gonna be um yeah acronym cool joe thanks man um whatever whatever um whatever source of of fact or source of truth that you use that you make your value systems off of and is your behavior ethical in character and in interaction? So that's what I got for you today. Make a comment. Um, clean ones, Marines. Uh, make comments on uh, maybe you can put what you, you make your ethical choices by. What's your center source of truth? That would be cool. That's all I got. Gunny is out.